when you do YouTube, do YouTube because you love to make certain kinds of content, not because of the views, not because of the money. Do it because you love to do it. No other reason. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Third Time to Charm. You can't see it, but this game can. Bringing you guys everything gaming. Now recently I did a video on the PS4 making a possible upgrade both GPU and 4K wise. And you know, a lot of people might think that's a good thing. You know, they, they're like, yeah, 4K, it's gonna look even better than it already is. But there, you know, there are some who are saying why plans for an upgraded PS4 are concerning. Now, with rumors of an upgraded PS4 continuing to rumble in the background, one writer looks at how the release of such a console could be disappointing for PlayStation users. Now, with these 4K resolution rumors, uh, it's been dubbed the PS4.5 or the PS4K, which is, I think, my favorite. I like the PS4K. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, the updated version of the top Sun console with allegedly... Uh, include will include an upgraded graphics process unit, like I said, to assist with the 4K, though. Now, apparently... Uh, it's also mentioned in this other article, but I will link this article that I'm reading from. Uh, the release of the PlayStation VR is one of the main reasons why they want to upgrade the GPO for the 4K, to help make it smoother. Now, if you guys remember, Sony is not the only company that has been subject to these rumors either. As early as last year, it was also suggested that Microsoft had plans in place for the future of the Xbox One. Now at the moment, neither Microsoft nor Sony has confirmed any of these rumors, but with such speculation circulating with regularity, it's no surprise to see the gaming community getting suspicious that plans will fall into place. And I'm sure they will sooner or later. Uh, you know, that's how you make money. That's just part of business. Things are gonna get potentially better with little bundles and deals and things like that. Um, take a look at VR. They've already got VR bundles announced. Now, before I get to some of the concerns, you know, there are plenty of positives that both companies could find in releasing upgraded versions of their consoles. You know, additional processing power will no doubt help the VR, like I said, the functionality of the VR, and add a number of industry heads uh, have placed a lot of faith in the new technology. Now, meanwhile, with 4K resolution set to become the standard in the years to come, it's perhaps no surprise to see the likes of Sony and Microsoft heading in that direction. Now, like I said, however, some fans may feel a little disappointed if it is confirmed that the upgraded consoles will arrive in this generation. In particular, those fans will grow concerned about exactly how much content will still be provided to users of the previous models. You know, after all, if an upgraded uh, processing unit is on the cards, then it may result in older models being unable to run certain games. Now, if you guys remember, this isn't the first time a console would have, or a console of some kind, wouldn't have made an upgrade in the same generation. Remember guys, Nintendo came out with the new Nintendo 3DS XL. And a game that was made solely for the new 3DS XL was the Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. It can only be played on the new Nintendo 3DS XL. Now, believe it or not, the Xbox 360 is still seeing games released a full 11 years after the console originally broke onto the market. And the PS2, was in production for an incredible 13 years. Now, you know, a lot of these, these consoles that we have, they're not anywhere close to what a PC can offer. I still enjoy my Xbox One, even though my PC can do a lot more as far as capabilities in gaming. Um, but there's a lot of untapped potential in our consoles. There's more potential in these consoles than any other gener generation that we've had. And, uh, but however, this generation in question uh, offers up something that previous consoles have lacked and that the games themselves are not necessarily the only function of the console. You know, you can watch TV through the Xbox One. Um, you can stream. You can play your apps. Uh, even though the 7th the Gen 360 and PS3 could do that, you can still do that. Um, I mean, you can Skype. I mean, the apps, are, the apps make it endless to do almost anything on these and which make it more and more like a PC in my opinion. You can print, I don't even know if they have Microsoft Word on the Xbox One. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think they do, but hopefully should the rumors of an upgraded PS4 prove to be true, the Sony uh, will remain true to the earlier adopters of the console without, you know, making the, the first adopters of the PS4 versions, the, the non-PS4K version, should I say. Hopefully they don't leave them in the dust. Now, however, with gaming, 
now such a fast paced industry, companies will do all they can to keep ahead of the curve, attempting to deliver as fresh and new a technolo technological experience as possible. Now, should Sony decide that a uh, two tier user base is required, then it's bound to be disappointing for those who play an older version of the console, particularly those who came to the system late. You know, if you purchased a PS4 six months uh, before the PS4 case come out, then, I mean, you're kind of screwed. What do you guys think? You think this is good? Bad? Both? A new PS4? The PS4K as it's been dubbed or PS4.5 to come out? As well as also the Xbox One getting future upgrades uh, with new models? What do you guys think? Do you think I should hold off until the next generation? Should I implement these changes? Uh, because of VR, is that just is that a, a just reason in itself? Uh, let me know below if you can. And thanks again, guys, for stopping by. Thanks for listening. Hope you've enjoyed. And until next time, guys, I'm third time's a charm. You can't see it, but this kitty cat bringing you guys everything gaming.